Welcome to the Broadway Profile Show Spotlight Series. I'm your host, Tamson Fidel. The Broadway blockbuster Hades Town is a hell-raising journey to the underworld and back. And now the national tour is heading your way. It is a stunning and gorgeous piece of theater, pitting faith against doubt, a story of love in the face of fear. Let's rewind to Tony Night 2019, the winner of eight Tony Awards in all, including Best Musical, plus Tony wins in nearly all other major categories. And the Hadestown cast recording is the 2020 Grammy Award winner for the Best Musical Theater Album. Town is also so important because of its powerhouse creative team, led by some truly incredible women. I'm going way down, Hades Town, way down under the ground. The show's creator, Anais Mitchell, built Hades Town from the ground up on a journey that started well over a decade ago. She wrote all the music, all the lyrics, and the book for Hades Town, ultimately winning the Tony for Best Original Score. It's a show she developed with Rachel Chavkin, who also won the Tony Award for directing Hades Town. We had the chance to speak with Anais and Rachel, plus two of the show's producers, Mara Isaacs and Dale Franzen, who both helped bring the show from an early concept album all the way to the Broadway stage and beyond. Talk a little bit about the road to Broadway for Hades Town for, for people who, are, who do not know the, the story and the history, and it's going to be coming to their you know city at some point. Yeah, Hades Town started um, as a, a DIY community theater project, just a bunch of friends um, trying to do something fun in the state of Vermont, um, and that was in 2006 and seven. And then a couple of years later, um, I made uh, an album, a studio album of the music that existed up until that point. Shortly after that was kind of wrapping up, I met Rachel. We started to work together on the development and expansion of the piece, and that lasted another, I want to say, seven years. And then we landed at the Welter Kerr um, last spring of 2019. When Anais and I first met, what existed was this beautiful 2010 studio album and I had fallen in love with it immediately. And actually years later into my collaboration with Anais, I went back, I keep like a running list of dream projects on my phone. And uh, I was just like looking back at that list and the very first entry, the reason that I started that list uh, was Anais Mitchell, songwriter heard on Soundcheck. Way down, way down, way down the ground. I had loved the music even before uh, before I met Anais, and um, and there's a lyric in the show that is uh, I, I I knew you even before we met. The genius I think of Anais Mitchell's writing is that no matter what moment you're in when you go to see the show, there is something so immediately resonant about it. And I think one of the things that's really special about Hades Town is that it is kind of a case for redemption and hope and how we can move through scarcity and hardship into a more positive and hopeful world. And even though we're not there yet, um, the show helps you see it. A lot of us, you know, Mara and I and every producer in the world is thinking about what does the world, what is the world going to need when we come back? I mean, that's on my mind every day. What stories are we gonna need to hear? And I absolutely think Hades Town is that story because it does give you hope, but it also says, to quote Winston Churchill, success is not final and we can't count on it and we have to keep working and we have to stand together and we have to speak out. And it doesn't always work out, but that doesn't mean you give up. And I think this is, you know, clearly what we're going through right now. I can give you what it is you crave A little something from the good old days And Hades Town should have celebrated one year on Broadway in April, but with Broadway temporarily on hold, that couldn't happen. I got sunshine up on a shelf Allow me to introduce myself So instead, the creator of Hades Town, Anais Mitchell, and some of the stars celebrated the anniversary with a special living room live stream. Brother, what's my name? Our Lady of Ways, Our Lady of Means. As we mentioned, Hades Town won the Grammy for Best Musical Theater Album and for good reason. I'm coming awake for me. I hear the walls repeating. The falling of my feet and it sounds like drumming. 
It's an incredible score, steeped in folk, steampunk, and New Orleans-style jazz. There are so many iconic moments in the show. Obviously, Wait For Me is an amazing, to me, that's, um, it's an operatic moment. Um, where everything comes together, the lights, the sound, the set, the music, the chorus, the choreography, you know, and it's just like one of those moments that just every time I see it gives me the chills. Dozens of amazing and intoxicating songs, Hades Town is an incredible live experience that you definitely do not want to miss. One thing I love about Hades Town is that the lines are slightly blurred. I'm hoping that the audience can feel compassion for each of the characters. One of the most powerful opportunities Hades Town provides is the chance to feel some sort of compassion for characters and, and people that you, you might not initially think you have anything in common with. You really get to go on a journey every night. It's very mystical and there's, it, there's, it's rich of history. I mean, I'm grateful that they even asked me to audition. I feel like a contest winner. Many people are sitting there bawling. It's an emotional piece of work because there's so much richness. Let's not talk about hard times. Pull the wine in seven times. Oh. Are you excited to see the reaction from the tours once it goes across the country and goes into different cities? Because there's a different, you know, there's a different audience in those different cities than there is on Broadway. I mean, look, I grew up in Washington, D.C., and uh, I would come up maybe once a year to Broadway, but actually the majority of my exposure to theater were through, was through touring shows. Um, mm -hmm. And I have um, most of my husband's family, which is obviously my family, is in Iowa, and they see shows that are touring to all across Iowa and Chicago. I am uh, sort of in awe of the old school national connection that these kind, this kind of touring breeds. There's something so special about the going from town to town, the same group of people, the traveling circus in the sense that you're like a, almost like a bard, you know, telling the same story in different towns and kind of spreading the news in, uh, in a way. Hades Town is really the first time when the audience's reaction has surpassed my wildest dreams. Um, and so it is probably the most satisfying experience of my career to help make something that is so beloved. Once again, the national tour of Hades Town is headed your way. For more information, go to hadestown.com tour. I'm Tamsin Fidel, and this is a Broadway Profile Show Spotlight Series.